Uh, good afternoon. My name is Hironori Tanada. I'm in charge of access network planning of NTT West. Uh, today, I'd like to share with you uh, our CTH business so far and human resources development, which is one of the most crucial factors. Okay. Uh, this is the organization chart of NTT. Uh, NTT is the largest telecom operator in Japan, and NTT West is re responsible for regional telecommunication business in the western part of Japan. Uh, we do business on the field on fixed line, uh, broadband service uh, such as FTTH, and so on. Uh, compared to Japan with India, our land and population are very small. However, the internet penetration, including fixed line and mobile, is higher than India. Uh, this graph shows the transition of FTTH subscribers. Uh, NTT East, which business area in the eastern part of Japan, has 11 million subscribers, and NTT West has 8.7 million. Uh, this slide shows our vision to provide high quality services at a low cost. A lower monthly fee, speedy installation, and lower failure rate, uh, they are uh, critical factors. Uh, we can realize to improve customer satisfaction by these three factors. Uh, we believe that it would be very important to improve the business process and human resources development together in order to uh, spread high quality FTTH service. Uh, this slide shows the speed of FTTH service and monthly fee. Uh, at the beginning, the speed was 10 megabps, but now it is 1 gigabps. Uh, the speed dramatically increased, but the monthly fee has been cheaper than before. Uh, this is the re uh, result of our const cont continuous effort. Uh, in terms of the quality, we have been improving business processes and engineering technical skills to reduce failure. Uh, as a result, the failure rate has been decreasing, although the number of the subscribers has been increasing. Uh, there are two critical factors for design, deployment, and maintenance of the FTTH network. One is an efficient design based on the demand forecast. We make the manual for design in addition to clarify the grand design policy. Based on the manual, we created the basic design such as the location of OLT and the cabling route and so on. The other is the efficient installation and operation. To realize it, uh, it's very important to standardize the business processes and utilize the optimal equipment and tools. Also, the optimized business operation utilizes the accurate facility database leads to the speedy installation and failure recovery. Uh, in addition to these two factors, uh, human resources development is the basis for all processes. It's essential to develop human resources with the effective training structure. Uh, when it comes to human resources development, we believe uh, knowledge, skills, and awareness are crucial for aspects. Uh, based on these aspects, uh, we classify the ability into four levels. Then we have organized training program systematically so that every employee can work on self-improvement spontaneously. Uh, this picture shows the uh, this picture shows the structure of training programs for engineers. Uh, we set 
almost 200 courses of internal certificate from level B to level SA in various fields. Every employee actively makes effort to improve their abilities. In order to move on level B from level C, uh, employees use e-learning programs. Uh, through e-learning, they acquire basic knowledge. Uh, to be high-skilled engineers such as level A and level SA, they join special training programs like optical professional course and competition events like Master's Cup. Uh, we must continuously practice what we learn in the training to absorb it completely. If we didn't, we would lose what we learned immediately. Therefore, the most important thing is that uh, key person always su uh, supervises or co-workers to providing uh, their skills, knowledge, and awareness in daily work like OJT. In other words, uh, it's continuous human resources development cycle in daily work. Uh, optical professional courses is, is to train a cell level engineer to be a leader. Trainees are responsible for every process of fiber cable deployment from design to construction and practice them in specific uh, project for two years. A gold Master is a program for transmission of veteran skills. Uh, we make veterans know how exp explicit knowledge and pass on it to young generations. We assign the superior engineer among over 60s to Goldmeister, who is responsible for transmission of their skills. A Master's Cup competition is an annual competition. Representative engineers from each area show their excellent skills in several events such as fiber installation and maintenance, and so on. Uh, evaluation point is not only speed, but also whether they follow the standard way and efficiency of working in a team. And uh, Kaizen competition is held annually together with Master's Cup. Uh, in this competition, representatives suggest, suggest excellent ideas for removing the waste and enhancing the efficiency of daily work. Uh, headquarters expand those ideas to all branches in order to enhance work effic efficiency more. Okay, uh, from now on, I'd like to introduce a case study which NTT West provided know-how of human resources development to other telecom carriers in foreign country. NTT West had contributed to our know-how to standardization for a telecom carrier in Southeast Asia. Based on the standard procedure, they had been expanding FTTH business, uh, but before going into the mask deployment stage, they faced new issue to reduce the lead time. Therefore, we cooperated with them again. Uh, what, we, uh, what made the lead time longer? Uh, we worked on analysts at first. Uh, we got three big causes, uh, lack of knowledge, low awareness, and lack of technical skills. Those factors are what we place the most important on. Uh, we provided a package training with know-how about three factors. I'd like to show you training programs based on three factors. As for knowledge, uh, we provided lecture. We taught mainly basics of optical fiber using textbook. Uh, in terms of skills, we prepared various kind of practical training. Moreover, after completing the old curriculums, uh, trainees did installations uh, based on actual service order with NTT West instructors. This OJT enabled them to learn how to apply what they learned 
in their environment. Awareness is the basis of everything. Uh, we believe higher awareness brings better quality. In order to raise awareness, uh, we adapted various programs and customs in the training. And uh, we created a video of Training Digest for today with Indian music. Let me show you. Thank you for watching it. Okay, uh, next I will show you training result. Uh, as you can see, every aspect, knowledge, technical skills, and speed were significantly improved. In addition to that, uh, please look at the light picture. Uh, Trainee disposed trash of fiber cable. It means their awareness became higher. And uh, this slide shows how installation quality and awareness for safety were improved. All trainees followed standardized way, and we can see their appropriate performance to make sure safety. And moreover, I'd like to introduce three other positive effects. Firstly, an uh, executive from telecom career evaluated highly our training programs. And secondly, uh, NTT West trainees have been expanding NTT West know-how and mindset to other engineers to contract us. Thirdly, uh, this training program is certified by FTTH Council APAC. Uh, I think these effects proved our accumulated know-how are useful for other telecom carriers. As I explained so far, uh, we have been accelerating human resources development and business process re-engineering to offer FTTH service for nine million subscribers. Uh, as for human resources development, uh, important things that is not only self-improvement, but also expanding of fat people around. 
and uh, business process is also an important factor. Uh, in order to offer a service at a low price, uh, we have been standardizing in consistent way and improving them with uh, wisdom and ingenuity. Uh, NTT West have been developing and widening uh, not only know-how of human resources development, but also know-how of efficient business operation through past business. Therefore, we can provide various effective solutions for expansion of FTT's business based on your company's needs. If you have any interest, please free, feel free to contact us. Thank you very much for your time.